turn you around. close to 10 yards. <laughs> thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, keep shooting a little bit more. I hope you can hear me. Seven yards now, and this is my third mag I'm going to start. And I'm going to put five pounds on the right square, and I'm gonna take my and get a little bit See how we do And I'll try single action only. So let's bring it in. You can see it. That's right here. It's a little bit right. I threw that one right there, but not bad at all. This thing is a tack driver. I hope you can hear this. More to come. <laughs> Finished shooting the first three mags. I hope you can hear me. The range is pretty busy. But I decided to send it over to 15 yards and see what we can do. Um, these are not my prescription glasses, and I feel that it's necessary to give some sort of disclaimer of why my equipment is going to be crappy. But let's see what can happen. 15 yards. And then we will go to the review. Go to the top circle. I can see it. Sometimes you have good range days. Sometimes you don't. That one trigger surprised me. It's so light. I pull that one. And I'm empty. You can tell right now that was not the best of mags, but it is what it is. I'm going to show it to you live. Wow. So this is at seven and a half, eight yards. This is at 15. At least we're all in here. Hopefully that'll get better with practice. This is the first four mags through the pistol. So, thank you very much, not only to you for watching, but to the Sportsman Loft in North Dakota for making this, this possible. And uh, now, we will go to the video. Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at another Phoenix Redback, but this time it's going to be the Ultralight in single action only. This is a pistol that I've been waiting for, gosh, quite some time. They're very difficult to find. 
And I just want to thank everybody over at the Sportsman's Loft in North Dakota. They're the exclusive importer of uh, Phoenix pistols into the United States. And like you've seen before, with the Redback, I've had many videos on this fantastic pistol, and you know how much I love this one by now. It is not a single action only, and that's what I've been trying to get my hands on. I'm going to do another video later on where I'm comparing the two of them because there are a lot of differences. And But let me tell you, I, I'm in love with this. As much as I love the Redback, the regular Redback, and I thought this might be a little too light for me, I absolutely love this pistol. So that's the review in a nutshell. But as you saw from the shooting video, it's a very controllable firearm. The trigger is butter. It fits my hand like a glove. And the lock grips here, they're fantastic. You can exchange them. You know that for the other red back, I have a lot of lock uh, grips for it. But you can change it to, 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 like the original color or they also have blacks. A lot of different colors that I can put on that. But and uh, to pay homage to the, to the Swiss maker, um, the Swiss grip stayed with it. I'm putting the pistol away for a minute or two. We're going to take a look. It just comes in this case, just like the other Redback did. It comes with a range bag. Uh, it's a pouch is everywhere. You don't need to see all that stuff. But in addition to that, it comes with three, three mags. See if the light can catch them. 17 rod mags. They are compatible with the CZ75. So it comes with three of them. And it also comes with a very nice cleaning kit, and you've seen that in the other videos. Uh, all brass, of course, and the rods, so I'm doing this around the, the tripod, the rods, all they do is they screw here, and this becomes the handle for the cleaning of the pistol. Also comes with a nice, very detailed instruction manual. And this is going to be a good segue to our friendly YouTube manual reviewer. This pistol is 100% factory stock. Although it may look a little weird or scary to you, this is an absolutely factory stock pistol. See that? You see that? Also, on page 21 of the manual, you will see that the disassembly of the gun is for cleaning and maintenance of it and it is instructed and directed by the manufacturer for the safety and the safe operation of the firearm and of the user. This is not modifying a firearm at all. So the Phoenix Redback Ultralight, 9mm, single action only, absolutely Swiss perfection. A handmade pistol, and it's got a lot of differences, as I mentioned earlier, with the original Redback. And one of them being how light it is in comparison to it. And we'll go through that in a different video. But everything except for the slide and the barrel is aluminum. Versus the other one being steel. But everything down here is aluminum. And that's what reduces the weight. 9 millimeters, 17 rounds, and it has been safety checked. The capacity, like I said, is 17 rounds. 17 rounds. The barrel length is 4.54 inches long. And the weight of this unloaded is just 2.02 pounds. Letting you walk around it as I talk about it. Just the fit, the finish, and the ergonomics. I cannot tell you how fantastic this pistol, as well as the other Redback, but with a difference in weight how this pistol fits in my hand. Just like an absolute glove. You got, just like in the other Redback, you've got very deep and usable serrations on the top. Hope the focus is catching up. You got serrations on the, on the top of the barrel as well that leads into a fiber optic front sight and it's got a fully adjustable, blacked out, serrated rear sight. So it's a thin blade up front giving you a very nice picture is a red back because we've got a small ejector for like I said fully adjustable sights skeletonized hammer that is also serrated and textured on top come on focus there we go 
very nice extended beaver tail giving you a very good grip letting you get pretty high so it is a very upscale model based on the CZ75 internal rails keeping the very low bore axis so keeping the barrel if you look at this the barrel is just above like one finger width above your index finger your trigger finger now this this pistol now has roughly about 800 rounds through it so not a ton but it's been a hundred percent reliable let me let you see a closer look at the sights this ratio of the hammer the safety even though it's an ambi safety you can see the difference on how much bigger the left safety is versus the right so this gives you a very nice platform when you're holding having your master grip it gives you a very nice platform so you can put pressure in for the recoil control moving down the grips like I said are very nice tremendously aggressive and these are by lock lock grips on the back of the frame of the grip you should have cleaned it a little bit better but you get very aggressive checkering in the front as well as in the back the mag release although it's not very big is not a, CC, a, a shadow shadow 2 or a competition extended but it's big enough that it makes the mag releases very easy to do so it's very responsive and it just pops those mags right out now YouTube these are not live bullets these are dummy rounds that are used so the firearm is not hand, um, damaged maybe I can learn how to speak continuing down it's got a nice flared magwell nothing excessive it's not a huge competition magwell but it's very nicely done and everything is so well finished when you run your fingers across even you know ledges like that unions like this you don't feel anything is completely flat very nicely done now staying with the frame you can see all the detailing that was done on the firearm so it gives you a nice landing pad for your thumbs for your index finger as well on the other side and since we're here take a look at the hammer at the trigger now what's different is that instead of putting serrations in it of course it's an aluminum trigger instead of and it's adjustable you can see the adjustment there but instead of putting serrations on it like most people do there we go they actually cut material out of, out of it they hollowed it so when your finger when your trigger fin finger goes to it the meat of your finger kind of fills a little bit of that void and it gives you it just stays put it's very comfortable I thought that was ingenious of them Let's see if you can see it better on this side come on focus there you go a little bit like that so it's very nicely done something different you got a four slot pick rail here so you can hang anything you want lights lasers or like K as gun guy used to say you know little ninjas whatever you want to put in there so going back to the trigger and the firearm is safe and we're gonna load one of those dummy rounds YouTube the trigger is just absolute butter there's no you don't feel anything there's no grit grind grinding nothing it's just pure smooth and there's the wall and then you put two pounds of pressure and it just breaks it two pounds now the reset and you're going to eject the dummy round and there's another dummy round and now take a look at this the reset is there tactile audible pushes your finger forward but just enough and then instantly you're at the wall just a tad over two pounds of pressure breaks that wall and you're ready to go again it is spectacular wall break 
I've been waiting for a single action in the red back because the regular red back is just so spectacular. I could only imagine what a single action would be. Safety. Very positive. You're locked out. Boom. Fire. Fantastic fire. Give you a quick look here between the two triggers. So it's going to be a short video. I wanted to just talk a little bit about this one. A lot of the details that as far as dimensions, everything else you've seen from the other Redback videos that I have. I wanted to showcase two things about this one. Not only the single action only and how incredible this trigger is, but also the light frame being all aluminum. And that makes an enormous difference. It is so well balanced in my hand. Um, not only when it's unloaded, it's very well balanced. You do feel a little bit of the weight going forward when it's, un when it's unloaded. But the minute you put those 17 rounds and it has eaten anything I fed through it, both on the 115s, 124s, uh, anything like that with range ammo has been through it with no problem whatsoever. Uh, also defensive ammunition, even the Fort Scott, the tumble and impact, uh, 80 grain, no problem whatsoever. It just fed through it perfectly. So here it is, Phoenix Redback, ultralight single action only for your enjoyment and one more time i want to thank everybody at the sportsman's loft in north dakota for making it possible for me to get my hands on this pistol i look forward to your comments part of the what i enjoy most about this channel is the engagement with you in the comment section what do you think about the this ultralight from from Phoenix and when you take think about it in comparison with um, with the other Redback which one would you take do you like the single action only or do you like the double action it's just it's a matter of choice also the price tag I haven't touched that the price tag is going to be just north of three thousand dollars for this and uh, so it's a little bit less expensive believe it or not than the original Redback but it's worth every penny. Do you want a Ferrari? You pay for a Ferrari. Guys, girls, thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you think about this pistol. I look forward to reading your comments. Also, please remember that I'm very active on Instagram and also um, I post videos every Friday morning and on Wednesday mornings when I can. There's been a slight delay right, today, right now with the uploading of videos because YouTube has decided to demonetize every video that I upload instantly. So instead of being able to upload something and post it, now I have to upload something and it's taken seven, eight, ten days for, for the video review to go by. And they're actually demonetizing quite a, a few of my videos for no reason whatsoever. So I'm trying to post videos every week and as much as I can, but you may need to be a little patient with me um, with this process, which is out of my control and on a platform that is clearly not friendly to the First, Second Amendments and um, to us in general in this community. So thank you very much for watching and until the next time, God bless.